I'm back and this is our third episode on this uh, think tank program. It is not based on 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 on, on uh, intelligence and we can't call it assumptions but we are just using our brains, you know, around the politics of Uganda, the history and where we're going and hopefully it can put some light to what is going on hopefully. So I'm going to hand you over to the man behind the camera, Mr. JJ. Yes, uh, but actually this is uh, Mose's show, as we say. Uh, you know, there, there has been a lot going on, Mose. Yes. What, what, what we don't know is that uh, whether uh, Uganda is going towards... Uh, oh, towards... Um, a civil war, or we don't know. It's there's a lot of confusion. Yeah. Now historically, it's a complex situation. Yeah, yeah. So historically speaking, Uganda had so many turbulence when it comes to political issues. Yeah. Uh, the Do young you think people we are repeating history. I think history is repeating itself. Okay. Because many people in Uganda they are running away from history itself. Yeah, yeah. But it is very, very important. People like you guys... Could, could they be just ignorant? Um, <laughs> yes. You because see, it's two different things, running away from something it, it you true. know. True. You know, ignorance yeah. is not a bad thing. So no, it's it, not. So, for example, they are not aware. You see, look, when I was... I am sp even off what we are doing the conversation is still going on yeah there are some young people who are saying idi amin was better yeah and i'm just saying how was he better because he killed a lot more people than yeah. what is going on yeah, yeah. but that's history whoever it, says that mm -hmm. uh, I, I think i'm one of those young people who who uh, read idi amin above the rest of apart from uh, sir edward mutesa okay yeah. so now you can see the young people, they don't know anything else yeah. apart from... And you can't blame them. Exactly, yeah. you can't blame them. You know, you have talked about this last week. You yeah. said you have known one person. Yeah, yeah. But now and it is a good idea to... Psychologically, it's, yes, it's, it's it, it is a good idea to revisit yeah, yeah. the history. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? So yeah. you... Okay, you know, you, you are like... Um, Bobby Wine is he's, he's yeah, the yeah. same age. Same range, yeah. But what do you think, what, what motivated him to be what he is now? Like I said before, I know a little bit. I've known him for 15 years. Yep. And a few times we've had discussions. Uh, I've never had a discussion about uh, his past life. And I, I, I must say he always respected my presence. We always talked about things like development and personal development and stuff like that but he has always been an activist okay so yeah. should we call him an activist or what should we call him really at now, as per now yeah for me uh, my personal point of view i think he's a qualified politician though he has a lot to learn he is still um i don't know how this word might sound but i think the whole process of him becoming that that person that we all hoping to see 
is mm -hmm. premature and he's he's not that stubborn he's i think looking at his progress he, he he's learning my only worry is uh his associations you know that is my only worry the rest i trust that he can look after himself yeah but in, but but he's maybe he sat down and thought about it because yeah. he could see there's nobody when you look in his history i think he's he's been planning it for quite a long time now. yeah but even his if he's been and, planning it yeah but when you look at um the music scene in uganda say for example now yeah well, there, there is no musician who is actually talking about what he's talking about uh, he used to sing these loves i love you i love yeah, you yeah, and yeah. then he forgot about that yeah, the dog muffin yes kind, and yeah. i have been listening to his songs yeah seriously his songs yeah. make so much sense yeah. for the last six years he's been on yeah. point yeah and this is why you see international media they are picking up those one thing, so, <laughs> yeah one thing i think i i know about him is very controversial he's, he's he understand controversy he knows how to play with it i think this is why i think if you was to 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 rate them all that we see it is his creation because he he had a, uh, he remodified it from music you know what he was he used to do with comedian and bobby wine and he remodified it in politics so that's why uh, all these uh, you know traditional opposition and uh, the establishment themselves they are a bit lost in this uh, you know propaganda thing <laughs> because these are young people they communicate very well with Bobby Wine. They they relate to him a lot. So there's no way you can beat him in propaganda and uh, no because this, this it, psychological it, the, the, the propaganda thing is thing. Yeah. he's actually speaking yeah what the young people are feeling are feeling exactly. You see exactly. they they have but on top of that yeah like I said to you when in my in our very first uh, program I said the world has changed now. The language has changed. As of now I'm seven they call him Bosco. But you know, exactly you know i was wondering <laughs> i was wondering who is bosco what, that's, what? that's what i that's what i told you before <laughs> that you create a, a trend you create a trend yeah you see bosco is a normal name but now it has become some annoying name but, yeah you, but you understand who, who came saying? up with that idea I, w bosco? I wouldn't know but that's the generation we live in today <laughs> that you this generation jj is yeah. a young people generation yeah at some point he's worrying because you wonder where are the old people that means they die young they don't reach to the age of 60 most of africans now so for me it looks more like an extinction no the, the the young people mm. are there you, you remember last week yeah we talked about the um the old people's mentality yeah yeah uh, listen i have to repeat this yeah yeah although i am that uh, my generation is that of those people who really still think yeah, yeah. that young pe a young person of 27 can't think but yeah. i am not thinking that way. Yeah, yeah. that bad mentality I, I think that mindset is now you know uh changing well in look, most, because i see a lot of old people now you know joining these people power and uh, you know our they, seriously they, they have I, no choice i received a lot of um feedbacks from from uh you know a very big number of older people mm -hmm. on, on this program and i was happy about that i will read some of their reviews yes they so, have no choice yeah so but um, to join so uh, to answer your question uh there's no way yeah. militarily yes m7 is above now because he's got the money he's you know but in terms of propaganda, in terms of psychological verbal war, there is no way they can. <laughs> you uh, know. Yeah, well, you know, you know what is going to happen. Yeah. If they play the card right. Yeah. It's going to happen that even the international people, international community. Yeah, because will the, start to listen. The international community need numbers. Yeah, that's why you see they have given uh, people power the platform on a global media because yep. of the social media outrage, you know. Yeah. So uh, I think um, uh, I'll shift a little bit. Uh, I, my only worry is in these uh, invisible people. You know, we, when we talk about status quo. Yeah. There's people who are who are, who were who, who started this thing from 1980s. Yeah. 
yeah. Dembabazi, Tinyefunza, yeah. all those young people of that time, the Bobby Wines of that time. Yeah. yeah. And it has been a very successful establishment in terms of their personal gains and development, not for the country. Yeah. So I'm in my in my I'm assuming that something went wrong between them. Because yeah. so you know when you think about it, when you are a group of young people, yeah. you cannot say, okay, we are going to, um, we, this is the goal. Yeah. We are going to lead Uganda and only one person is going to lead. That, 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 yeah. that cannot be but any other You know argument. what we should do? Yeah. As, as you have done some research, yeah, later yeah. on we will yeah. come up with the people that you're talking about. We yeah, want yeah. to show them on the screen. Yeah, yeah. But uh, right now... I wanted now, to hint on... Yes. Right now... Bobby uh, Wine and... Uh, exactly. Yeah, yeah. We are still on Bobby Wine. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We, we could... Let us play... Uh, uh, some of his videos. It's a, I've just put a collage of videos, maybe three minutes. Yeah, yeah. Um, I hope that song is on iTunes. <laughs> to uh, play that video to just remind people our program what is it is all about as you can see on screen uh, I've been doing my own research on uh, these um, uh, you know common figures in politics and we have uh, the late Kirumira and then we have the man Bob Wine 
we have Tinye Funza. You all know about his drama in the previous, uh, the last elections. We, you, you know Mbabazi and his, his history with, uh, with the status quo and uh, the time he left. We all know about Bessie J. So these are the key players of what we are talking about today. And uh, apart from him being vocal, three of them, they are not talking. But we all know there's a lot of circus around them. Yeah, but, but one of them is, uh, well, two of them now are, are no longer in existence. They are, pre I, to, me, to me, I think they are pretending to, they are playing invisible. Really? You want to tell me <laughs> Kaihura is not dead? Kaihura is not dead. When did he die? Kaihura is not I, dead. He's in Kenya. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. JJ, well, come on. Well, people said yeah. he's dead. He was got shot. Oh. Well, that, okay. No, no, that's <laughs> Kawes. Ah. <laughs> you see, I don't really, uh, yes, <laughs> the, the names are You see, here. as I told you, ignorance yeah. is not a bad thing because yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I need to engage myself more mm. because, you see, there we are more. We need to gain some more credibility for, to our program, you know. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Seriously, I am so, sorry. Um, but how about uh, Kirumira? Kirumira? This is Kirumira. I, uh, yeah, uh, that one is dead for sure. Yeah, collateral damage. That's what I call it. Co uh, yeah. co collateral damage. Collateral yeah. dam damage. That's what I call it. This guy and Kawesi. So I'm more worried about this, my man. Yeah. Um, I've I received a, a few responses from the last uh, discussion, and some people were saying uh, Bobby Wine could he could he be a liability to these three men? You know, this is why we have these three men here. So, you know. so these three men, yeah, are they still much in the picture? Because they they are not in the picture, but they are very dominant in whatever is going on, to my understanding. Yeah, yeah. But 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 is that conclusive? Because you know, it's not based on uh, on 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 on, on uh, say an established established or establishment intelligence. It's based on my personal intelligence. <laughs> Right. So, so, yeah. So suppose somebody was to challenge you, but yeah, you know, I would what, love that. Yeah, you you know what yeah. what what surprises me, a guy like uh, Sejusa. Yeah, yeah. He was He's born in the in intelligence for how yeah, many but, years? But also he was born in the sa almost same village as yeah. as Museveni. Yeah, and he this is the guy who came to challenge him yeah. in terms of whatever is going on in Uganda politically. Yeah, yeah. I don't know whether people bought that. But do you think it's a, it was a legit challenge? Well, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. That's see, what I'm saying. So it, where is he now? Uh, uh, and after, after the elections, where is he now? How do you rate a, 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 um, a credible politician? Well, a credible politician is, is very difficult yeah especially in terms of africa L let me tell you one thing yeah. all these people yeah who are coming up and say we want to challenge him seven yeah they have got personal interest to start off with yeah they exactly are, they're, they're that's not where there for the country that's where i am so yeah this uh, sorry we don't have the technology to 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 circle stuff so i'm gonna use my hands no problem this is person this person these yeah. two here yeah. I don't know how we, you knew to put them together. They stand for, for the interest of the country, from, okay. from, from my understanding. Yeah. Then you have Besije. He's been around for 15 years. He's yeah. been fighting for uh, you know, freedom. and. Uh, this is slogan. when he was young in the bush. Yeah, this is when he's been fighting for that slogan, freedom and people power. Actually, uh, people say he's the one who came up with the people power. Mm -hmm. And this man, he rebranded it to what, what it is today. Okay. So when people sent me messages on WhatsApp, you know, saying, uh, could Bobby Wine be a liability to these? Not, because these are part of the status quo. Let's, let's not confuse ourselves. Yeah. It, it doesn't mean because they left, because that blah, 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 they, they, don't, they have a hand. You understand? Yeah. yeah. These are very intelligent men, very powerful very intelligent, very rich in, 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 in. So what is this guy Kaihura? Where is he? he? He's in Kenya now. He was in, he was in jail. So he was released, I think, on bail. 
and he's in Kenya receiving Na, then treatment. he jumped he jumped bail now so I, do, I think he was allowed so I'm, 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 I'm I don't really have a proper information on that but, but mm. yeah this guy this yeah yeah he should be the one making news now well but he because can't so the, you because know. The, the, the weight of his of his uh, uh, case or how many cases that he's you know there's so much going on and at the moment everything is shut down no one is talking about this guy and we shifted to these two yeah Do you get my point i get your point yeah but this is what i see if you re as i'm saying yeah encourage the young people yeah, yeah. like your generation yeah to read history because that's, that's when, exactly, when yeah. President Museveni was giving a speech of the state of the nation. Did you watch it more fully? I, 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 I watch everything. Yeah, yeah. You see? Yeah. He was quoting history and he was talking about things that the young generation do not know. Yeah. The young generation yeah. are, are more focused on what is going on now. now. But this is a replication yeah. of what happened from yeah. the 60s. Yeah, yeah. Now, let me just mention, just, you know, slowly, slowly, and it yeah. will tie it to this. Yeah, yeah. Every president in Uganda, mm. apart from Lule, yeah. Dinaisa, and Mwanga. And uh, Sir Edward Mutesa. Yeah, well, yeah. but I don't know who elected him. Uh, uh, so there's a, a question he, there. He was a constitutional leader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, right. Yeah. So these three people yeah when they came joseph lule mm. he didn't have any affiliation with the army yeah deny sir when when he demoted oite Ojok, yeah then his president his presidency yeah stopped there yeah, yeah paul mwanga was there as a as a caretaker yeah yeah but when you look at the two people yeah uh, the two presidents yeah obote yeah three and three or two it doesn't Obote, matter. Idi Amin, it, it doesn't matter yeah. whether it is Obote one or Obote two. Yeah, he he actually selected the people from his own. Yeah, from his own people. Yeah, to be to guard him. Although yeah. you know Acholi and Langi, they yeah, yeah. the same people. Yeah, yeah. So now, yeah. when you look at the this government today, yeah, is yeah. dominated either by Bachiga yeah, or yeah. Banyankole. Yeah, yeah. So these things are going to happen again. Yeah, yeah. As I said, yeah, yeah. it's more in, likely. Yeah, in East Africa, mm. we do not only Tanzania mm. they they vote for a president. Yeah, yeah. But Kenya but, and but Uganda but they vote for a one party still. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but true. But they made it in a such a way yeah. clever. But in it, Uganda, I don't think it's clever. It is clever. Yeah. How they did it, I will I will explain to you. Yeah. But in Uganda and Kenya, we vote for tribesmen. Mm. You are my tribe, I will support you. Yeah. Regardless of what you are going to do for the country. I think it's changing now with this generation. Because really? you can see how I have seen uh, when Bobby Wine went to Alua, mm -hmm. you, you could see the masses that were following him. So I think that is changing. But my, my point today is should young people go back? to do some research on the history of Ugandan politics, is it one of the essential things that are, are needed in the fight for what we yeah, are Yeah, well, I for? think you are putting it correctly because yeah. people should know the history yeah. of their country. If you don't know history, yeah. forget it. Yeah. You see, I told you, no, we were discussing last week. Yeah, yeah. The prime minister in Austria yeah. is 35 years old, yeah, yeah. but he can tell you the history of Austria yeah. from time before even yeah. Hitler. Yeah. So what us, we don't know this. Yeah. Now, for those who are doubting yeah. that Bobby Wine, you know, I, 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 all the conversation is that, have you seen Bobby Wine's constitution? Yeah, Does yeah. he have a manifesto? Yeah, yeah. You know, he can get elders and put a manifesto together yeah, yeah. and put him. Yeah, you know, yeah. Thomas Sankara, yeah. he's the youngest ever yeah. African leader. Yeah. He became president when he was 33. Yeah. And you have to remember, he was also a musician. 
yeah. So and, carry on, uh, sir. He was anti-colonial. That's what got him. <laughs> yeah. So carry on. <laughs> so your yeah. view of uh, of Bobby Wine? Yeah, Bobby Wine is different. He is uh, he is he is following the idea of uh, attracting, uh, you know, uh, Western uh, or international. Uh, uh, involvement in uh, Ugandan interference uh, in Ugandan politics and some people are disagreeing with that and uh, th that is mostly p the educated people they think uh, those times are over running to the colonial masters to save us from ourselves so you <laughs> so they have a point there mm. but but, the, uh, but their point but he but yeah. why I understand why he does that because he does not have the resources to fight at the status quo. And there's a complex, like we said, these people, they are the same people who have been in the government for the last 30 years. And for me, where I'm being stubborn is what are these people going to give us? For example, let's say if they decide to put their weight behind Bobby Wine, how can Bobby Wine trust these hungry rich well, men you know you get my point jj i get i get your point yeah the, the thing is that bobby wine he has to fight his own fight he has to forget about the old people yeah we yeah. know they're in the army but they, they, are, but the they, they are the ones with the resources <laughs> well no no uh, you, you see the resources yeah first of all if you want to fight anything, you t you have to have to create an ideology. Yeah, yeah. I think probably he's on that path. He's on that path. Yeah, yeah, at yeah, the yeah. Moment. yeah. So all these people, as I said, yeah, I I don't know. I don't know where we can gain. This from. man, yeah. this guy um, Baba, he's got a very big influence in in African politics because he played a front role for so many you know initiatives you know nrm initiatives he was, he was the front man mm -hmm. so he's got i think he's well well established and his relationships uh, within east africa or africa at large they are on a standard that's that's why most people think this could could he be behind you know i'm just saying what people say conspiracy could, theory yeah, cons uh, yeah not based on intelligence but could he be behind the people power? Because he has a very good relationship with the South African government because his daughter is married to the South African president, his son, first son. You mean the current president? The current president, his daughter or his niece. The, the wedding right. was in Uganda. Okay. So um, that puts him in a position where people are like, could Mbawas be part of this? And then you have other people say, if, if he's part of it, then he should show his face, and that will put more weight yeah. to the people power. So the curiosities are, why are these people quiet when we know they have a very big influence in pushing Museven? Do you understand my point? You see, all that is speculation. It's, 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 yes. You it's, see, it's, speculation yeah. sometimes is leading people astray all yeah, i can say but you cannot uh, um ignore it because we are talking about the history of you this is history repeating itself you know the bidandi sali the mayanji and kanji yeah they were in the then establishment when Museven was fighting and they were still serving in the government but they were collaborating with him seven when he <laughs> was in the bush <laughs> look let, let me tell you look you see what is even more intriguing is this. You know this one of the son of Tito Kello. Yeah. I think he's called Oriama Oriama. Yeah, yeah. He's in the government. Yeah. He's in this government NRM yeah, government. Yeah. yeah. Yet yeah. it is the NRA or yeah. NRM who toppled. That's understandable. That's a survival skill. Right. You know? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But Bessie's wife. Yeah. He, She's also working for other government it's an institutions. It's NGO. Yes. And I don't so, think that place is uh, most even had to do with her endorsement. Well, <laughs> you, you, you look into it. Probably. So for me, my, uh, my problem is, yeah. if these people, they want to change, 
uh, a transition change of leadership in Uganda, should they be in Kamoli or they should come out and say, we support Bobi Wine? Well, maybe because they have got their own agenda somehow, somewhere. That's the scary part of it. Yeah. So you know? with Bobby Wine, as I tell you, our mentality, African mentality, they, are st they still see him as a musician. Until uh, one day is, yeah, believe uh, me. Very few. Uh, uh, well, 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 I'm telling you, yeah. the mentality of these people can never change. Mm. Until now he's gaining ground, um, they are not going to dispute that. Because, look, I, I know. I, I understand know. why people dispute that. Because yeah? at some point, so, I, I, I also had, you know, curiosities about, how is he going to, you know, dismantle all this, you know? It's, no, 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 he cannot you know, dismantle. Exactly. All he has to do yeah. is to build. Okay, he's still young. He still have 20 years to go. Yeah. But, yeah. so in that 20, yeah. he need to. Div he has 10 years to devise yeah. his mechanism. If he's given 10 years by the current establishment. That well, is, well, you understand the... Inter the, the yeah, true. But then, but what, what now... Let us let us talk about Besije. What is really happening with Besije? This is uh, <laughs> this is why I'm very happy you had you you put these pictures here. Yeah. You see the oh, the the current situation going on. Yeah. I understand everyone is overwhelmed with the Bobby Wine effect. story. Yeah. Yeah. But let us not forget these people. This is why I'm I, I'm trying to encourage my fellow young people. Yeah. It is good to support, but it's good to also to understand what you're supporting. You understand? A lot of people, the Nkwanga, the Kaira, I, I wasn't there, but I like to do research and talk to old people. That's why I have, I'm, I have a good relationship with you, because this is where I get to understand the history of uh, Ugandan politics. In the 80s, these were the Bobby Wines, these were the MC Mose, these were, these were the, the Zakes of, of, of 80s, yeah? Mm. And I want, the, my challenge is for Bobby Wines, because we have already lost a very smart young man, a very investigative personality. And this is the man who nearly crushed this one. Do you get it? Well, you see I've, the danger of it. So I don't know. So I will give, you, I will give you a hint of that. <laughs> this this young guy is in the same. He's he was thirty five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On his own. He d he did a very big, big massive investigation on all the complications that were going on about Kawesi and all these gangs, and it came out that the gangs that were terrorizing Kampala they were funded by the government endorsed by this guy the head of police so what does that say what does that tell you JJ? what proof what proof do no the proof have? is there the proof yeah. is that's why he was in court okay. so what i want young people to think is yes it's good to support it's good to to like to have the drive and the energy but don't forget you ne also need to understand your struggle because it does not make you, sense you to know me. what i would really like to happen yeah is to dig deep yeah. into proper research because yeah. there are some proper reports out there yeah. which will give us yeah. uh, information yeah because as i said yeah. people yeah. can speculate yeah and, and 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 also you have to remember yeah people hate museven up to the point that yeah someone can commit a crime somewhere yeah and plant it on i'm very i'm so happy about this discussion yeah. because you're one of those people that are a bit ignorant about the current situation absolutely totally ignorant you see the troubles you see in kampala mm. for the last three years the chief i don't know if you've heard of the chief no all the killings the border border 20 and all that saga it was endorsed by this guy and it was funded by the, the, the central government through this guy. But for what you purpose? Understand? For what purpose was he doing that? Exactly. That is my question. Yeah. That is my question. So this guy terrorized Uga Ugandan people when this guy was doing work to work. This is how forgetful Ugandans are. Yeah? Yeah. And people, they, they hated, people in general have got yeah, short yeah. memories. Yeah, so. yeah. They hated this guy. 
And when this guy was arrested, with the help of this young man who just been killed, which I think is a result of his murder, and now people are focusing more on Museven. You understand my point? Yeah. It is. We, uh, that's why I said, do you think young people should go back into history? Because for me, I think history is repeating itself. You remember Benny Chiwanuka? I don't want my man to become a Benny Chiwanuka. <laughs> well, <laughs> if he plays his game, <laughs> because you, you know what I have just seen, yeah. he's in America receiving treatment, yeah. and then he's going on this idea that well today i have met a senator and and people they are falling into that uh, yeah into yeah. that bandwagon yeah yeah listen that's not enough <laughs> not even enough yeah the people he has met yeah they have no power yeah, to, yeah. Uh, to do anything yeah, yeah. It, uh, the american they have the influence but they have the influence yeah, but yeah. their congress uh, uh the people in congress uh, uh, there is a section which actually votes on everything. Yeah. Even Trump himself, he doesn't have the power to do what he wants yeah, to yeah. do. What what really disappointed me is that yeah. when when he had a press conference, the the the, uh, the Al, Al Jazeera, they were they were they were insisting on alleged mm. alleged alleged what it, that alleged that he was tortured. <laughs> Ah, okay. So, so they when don't you believe. know how to read into media, yeah, then you know, yeah, you understand. So when I was when I saw people celebrating, oh, he's on CNN, this, this, that. But are you listening to the reporter? Are you listening to the the questions the reporter is asking uh, yeah. our man? You understand, JJ? Yes, because people they want to believe, yeah, or they want they there is things they want to see. Do you think it's and a they take do you the, think it's a colonial mindset to always uh, no, celebrate no because celebrate people this, uh, people do not understand how political situation work i will give you an example the other day a group of again ugandans they went to 10 downing street but did they go to 10 downing street yes they did no they did you was there. You are the one who was in the car. No, camera. that 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 was the first one. Yeah. The last one when they were uh, delivering a letter. Yeah, they delivered it to an MP. Right. Yeah. So now let me. Yeah. This is my experience of delivering letters to Ten Downing Street. Yeah. You need to be. You know the proper Ten Downing Street. Yeah. Is is that is that street which has got big gates and stuff? Yes. Yes. But they didn't go there. Yeah, they yeah. were outside yeah. at, the, uh, at the, how do they so call what that? What category of... Oh, the road. Is that, that is the main road that, um, yeah, uh, 10 Downing Street is off the main road. Yeah. So they brought this MP to come and talk. I know that MP yeah. because I have seen him <laughs> supporting the Somaliland. Yeah. You will see him. They, they, they will Maybe just he, he's got an influence, I mean, he's got an, an, an understanding on African politics. That's why... <laughs> Can I tell you something? Yeah. The people who have got an understanding of public, uh, African politics, mm. you won't even hear their names. This yeah. is how the, this British government works. So, yeah, so what, what is the impact of Western influence in Ugandan politics? Well, you will see totally different people. You see, yeah. the people who are, influence, who are in, interfering yeah. in African politics mm. are these people who have got business interests. Yeah, and these are the big people like uh, Hazel Time. That's obvious. Yeah, yeah, and others. Yeah, yeah. So all these young MPs, you see, freedom. Yeah, is a very big thing here. Yeah, you can stand down anywhere. You can even go and shout and say yeah. we want, we don't want Theresa May, yeah. and nobody will touch you. Only so, if you're peaceful. No, even if you are. Even if you are, <laughs> even if you are, how can I say, aggressive, mm. they will deal with you. Yeah. So, but 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 my my main point is that when we delivered a letter to Ten Downing Street, yeah, we went inside. You yeah. see, there is this Nigerian guy. He presented his case about gun and knife crime. Yeah, yeah. Actually, the person from from the from from the office yeah, 10 yeah. downing street yeah. came opened the door and we gave him the letter that was more of a local 
issue. This is uh, well, yeah. Yeah, but it, it should be. Yeah, I'm yeah. trying to to, no, to no, not no, to but, be one sided. But, yeah, but yeah. that's that's what I'm telling you. Yeah. And secondly, these letters, we don't know whether will be read. It was read in the parliament. No, no, it was not the letter. It was. It, it was the same MP, isn't it? It's the same P, but yeah. he was actually giving his view. Okay. On of the, on the, of, the, of the current of the situation in Uganda. Yeah. He, he was not reading the letter because he cannot read the letter. Yeah. Unless the prime minister actually si stands up on the dispatch and say, "I have re received this letter. Yeah. Now we want to deal with this." But yeah. she will even come and say two words. The guy just said two words. You know. Yeah. You can organize. Yeah. A conference at the House of Commons. Yeah, they will yeah. give you a room. Yeah, yeah, true that. So, so, yeah. so, so, so you know that maybe we so will you, follow. So that. you support my 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 idea of young people who are interested in helping Uganda. Yeah. From where it is to to organize themselves and have a team, an effective team. Absolutely, you know, I, it is I, Ugandans. I don't see that happening because it, well, it is yeah. Ugandans themselves. Yeah. Come up with an idea. Ever or, since I said it, I haven't had anyone coming. Well, you are not say, going to see because yeah. you see when. Let me give you an example. You know the Jews here. Yeah. There are only 280 yeah. thousand Jews. Yeah. yeah. But the inf influence they have over the government. Yeah. yeah. They will even force <laughs> a government they to They have a very big economic status. Uh -huh. <laughs> they they have got institutions, my friend. Yeah. So, so here we might even go on the road and shout as much as we like but oh, but all i know is even uh, if even if you have a personal issue you can lobby your mp to the true, house of commons true but but yeah. now what you you as a young person yeah what do you think yeah that is prohibiting yeah. ugandans yeah to come together yeah and discuss these issues i don't issues. know i don't know it's it, some of them they might be watching me or they watch the video i have a, uh, this is the second time i'm talking about it yeah you are going to talk about this for yeah, a long I time said, right? i said i say to them live look we live in a free yeah. world yeah you know we are very humble young people it's not like we are organizing you know a gang that is going to terrorize <laughs> people mm. we are we are we are trying to come together for a constructive yeah. ideology should yeah. we go to a break and uh, let okay. us play more uh, again this uh, uh, Bobby Wine video and then we will come back with uh, a different kind of discussion. So oh. here we go. Come on and go here. <laughs> Come on, Nina. Come on, 